day four here in Sweden. Switched rooms because those kids were like living in an orphanage with a bunch of people, but this young man and I now are sharing a room. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, you got here what, yesterday? Yeah. So I'm... he's gonna have more energy than I will, but... I'll try my best to do some new things today. Hopefully, I'll do a double backflip on the spring floor. Maybe a triple backflip combo on the trampolines. And uh, yeah, probably prepare my run as well for the competition. He's crazy. That's awesome. Get it. Yeah, boy. So these guys are clearly quite smart. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> While <laughs> some of us waited behind in the lobby, and oh. then you know until the car Did was you know here, about the time change? Uh, these guys yeah. decided mm -hmm. to instead go and stand outside in the cold. And I guarantee you, all of them are going to complain about it <laughs> when they could have just stood in the lobby. <laughs> I don't want to hear a word out of any okay. of you about this. All right, and day four here in Sweden. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm so tired right now. But today we're doing some qualifications for some of the, like, more of the local crowd who's gonna try to compete as well. So they have, like, the different teams, the Free Mover team, uh, GRT, like the Gregor Trampoline team, and then some people are gonna try and qualify to compete as well today. So I'll be judging that, aside from all the other shenanigans that we're probably gonna get into today. So just stay tuned for all the craziness. Again, day four, everyone's kind of tired except for those who just showed up. So we'll see how today goes. <laughs> So right now the boys are just practicing their runs. Um, they're all getting a feel for it more. Uh, I mean, I know they're tired, but they're, they're honestly killing it. Like they're doing some pretty cool, crazy stuff. Marku here is from Finland. He's crazy good. Jaden over there is doing like a really, really, really creative run. You can't see him now, he's standing behind. Ah, oh, there he is, okay. But yeah, so he's doing a super creative run. Uh, little Sebe over there is only 11 and he is like one of the most outstanding G-Tramp kids out there right now. Uh, all the boys are like big fans of him. Mr. Jake working on his run as well. So there will be a lot of action. A lot of action. Yep. All right, so I've been slacking and uh, well not really slacking. I've been studying. I was watching my my good friend Kyle playing zero videos um, I was just watching his newest video which you should go watch. It's actually amazing But I didn't even realize the boys in here are building a trampoline right now So they currently are working quite hard this kid evil hard workers Except for Oscar. He's just standing here watching And uh, Oscar also he's mute. He doesn't know how to speak so No, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> Such a brat. Wow, that is... You're gonna have to move it away from those lights. Making the boys look good, that's a hard thing to do, so really like, you're doing a good it's job, me, It's taken me all day so far to make these boys look good, but I think the results speak for themselves. Yes. There we go, look. I'll just zoom in a little bit, that's gone well small. Look at those Ooh. lads. Wow. Woo! Oh, <laughs> God, I, swear. God, I swear. I brought some of the wonderful Dominatrix stuff for some of the boys. So, we got the shirts in here, got some tank tops down there. Fun. <laughs> Good job, Livio. <Olivia. laughs> Is it comfortable? Yeah, really comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just getting the last bits of the trampoline up. That haircut though. <laughs> <laughs> this trampoline is crazy actually. It's super, super bouncy. Look at these fine young gentlemen. So the boys are trying to look all cute and take pictures and stuff. Uh, this new trampoline is set up, pretty cool actually. And then some more flippers just got here. These are some like local Swedish flippers I think. So they're part of Free Mover, part of the gym. And this young man right here. Oh, uh. Sven, like from Frozen and He's about to learn a backflip. He's tried once before, or twice before, and has never really accomplished one on a trampoline. Don't forget I admit to this. And his friend here is the one throwing him under the bus and making him try it. So, we're gonna, he's gonna learn his backflip now. And then you're gonna be on camera doing it. Okay. Oh, 
kind of hard. <laughs> okay, so now, like you would on the trampoline, okay, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm probably gonna give you a really, really heavy, heavy spot. I'm probably gonna do this way. So okay. Okay. But the main part about it is when you jump up first, you need to make sure that your arms are high so that lifts you into the air. Okay. Okay, and then when you flip, just get your knees into your chest. Alright? Okay. And try not to fail around. Okay. So I'll help you with like I'll give you super heavy this way, okay? So okay. when you're ready, you just go one, two, three, four. Okay. okay. One, two, three. Okay. <laughs> so you sweat. So you stay like this, so you go up. Then you actually have to flip that. Okay. Woo! Okay, a little bit better. Now we gotta get our, we gotta get your feet up. Smooth. Smooth. Good, right there. Yeah, up high, up back. Check, check. Yeah, and the full thing, yeah. One more, you're landing this way. Same thing. Now, as you're coming down, just stand up a little bit. That was good. Just like the one you just landed. Yes! Woo! Perfect. Yes! Wow! Yeah! <laughs> so much more balance. <laughs> nice. Oh, yes. So much more balance. All right, so this is Sven from Frozen. And he just learned a back tuck in a good half hour. Boom! Nice! Was that a half hour? That's about a half hour. So Sven, do you know anything? I learned two days without help. He learned in a half hour with the most excellent help. <laughs> There's a fire. There's a fire, we have to run. <laughs> Now, Tessie got some of the cool like uh, smoke effects. They just shut off the lights and then turned on a cool like red, green, blue strobe light. And yeah, yeah, yeah. The kids are gonna jump around. We're gonna s test it out now and see if this uh, dry ice smoke stuff will mess up any of the, the visibility of the trampolines before the competition actually starts. And look at that, Levia, look at him, look at him. Oh, looking fresh, mm, mm hmm <laughs> Special adventure. Miss Trish and I are on our way to uh, a spot that you guys see me in quite often. Where are we going? The liquor schlagen. The liquor schlagen. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to. <laughs> just completely made that up. I did. <laughs> so we are going to a liquor store to, you know, a little beer run. Again, most of you know I drink. I'm old enough to anyway. I'm 25 years old. Don't Leave worry, me it's alone. a big beer run. It's going to be a big beer run. We're getting beer for Greg Rowe, so yeah. it's going to be big, massive. Massive. So yeah, it's time to get some drinking schlagens at the liquor schlagen. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, liquor's so expensive here. Well, it is in the bar. In the bar, don't, if you go, if you come to Sweden, the bar will wreck you, like, <laughs> bad. But here, I mean, you have to buy it individually. They don't sell it in cases like we normally do, like a six pack, 12 pack, 24, 30 case, if that's what you're into. They don't do that here. You like do it individually, so it's like you're, Grocery shopping, but you know, for individual for beers, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of a vegetable. There's wheat in some of that. Well, wheat's not a vegetable, is it? Uh, it's a grain. Dang it. So, where are we, Trish? Oh, liquor schlagen, drinking schlagen, liquor schlagen to get some drinking schlagens. Yes, so many nice drinks. GRT crew, this one was good. See, so this is how you shop here. Okay, so you just get one. You look for the highest alcohol content, number one priority. It has to be high for Greg. Exactly. 7.3. Second, how cool is the label? Labels matter. Marketing. So again, like you just grab like one at a time. Like, boom. Prices oh, look, look crazy, like 1990, but that's not really that much. Need to put some of these in my basket. <laughs> I got. One, oh two, man. Three, four, five, six, seven, what? Eight, I'm slacking. I have five. Jeez, get with the program. What are you doing? Well, you're shopping for two. Okay, 119. Boom. That doesn't seem like that many now. Alright, so I thought I was, uh, you know. I have quite a few, but like, you're. Come on now. I'm buying for Greg. Mm-hmm. All right, grocery shopping was a success. Agreed, Trish? Agreed. Agreed. Operation, super successful. We got the goods. 
We got the goodens. <laughs> the drinking goodens. I like it. I like it a lot. A liquor schlagen. Liquor schlagen at the dr drinking schlagen. <laughs> It's a or something. It doesn't even sound Swedish. and schlagen. <laughs> Everything schlagen. So unfortunately, accidents do happen sometimes in Teo. Teodor just hurt himself. We don't know how badly yet, but uh, it looks uncomfortable. But I think he'll be fine. Sad and unfortunate thing that happens sometimes. But now the stretcher is here with the ambulance, unfortunately. Hmm. Okay, so I'm not gonna be super invasive and get all in his face with the camera, but he's getting put on the stretcher now. And again, we've all, like a bunch of us watched the video. It looks like it's probably just pretty bad with flash, so I think he'll be okay, hoping for the best, but um, we'll all find out soon enough. So qualifiers are about to start. Getting some last minute practice in before the kids are doing their qualifications. Obviously, I won't be able to really record any of that because I will be judging. But stay tuned, there will be footage of it, I'm sure. So, I mean, you'll be able to find that somehow. I'll figure it out for you guys. But enjoy what you can. Hi, Jesse. Is it good? Yeah. How good? Why aren't you eating? Oh, okay. Yes. Aslan not doing a damn thing as usual. <laughs> you always get my good side. Do you ever great. work? I mean, no. You no, don't? I'm just checking out my Facebook. I figured as much. Like, look, yeah. Tinder. You mean Grinder? Tinder Grinder. <laughs> Wait. All right, so now all these guys are going to find out who the top five are in the competition. <laughs> What's up? You gonna say your name for the camera? I'm Elvin. Anton. William. Look at those shirts. Look at look at that. Uh uh yeah. All right, so just finished up qualifications. It went super well. Um, judging ran very smoothly, even though I can't talk very smoothly right now. But judging went uh, smoothly. Everyone, like all the athletes performed rather well. Uh, no injuries or anything, so that's awesome. Um, yeah, so today was a rather successful day. Tomorrow is the actual competition. Um, as for right now, it's dinner time. Some of the kids are playing around a bit. I just got done coaching a bunch of kids, teaching them some standing pulls, back tucks, all that stuff, double forks, you know, the usual. But uh, yeah, so today was a great day. I hope you guys had a great day. Day four is about to come to a conclusion here in Little Sweden. So, come on.